Hey everybody, Jake here, and today we're going to take a look at an EDC favorite of mine. This is the Victorinox Classic. So I actually picked this up um, really just for review, because I figured, you know, it's small, it's cheap, probably fairly useful. Um, I'll review it, and then, you know, give it away or something like that. But, I actually plan on keeping this. So, let's go ahead and get into some size comparisons, like, new, dislike, etc. You guys know the drill by now. And um, I'll tell you whether or not you should buy this, in my opinion. Alright, first thing up, some size comparisons. So, um, something that I have that is somewhat close in size to this, this being a very small knife, is the Spyderco Dragonfly. Which is much larger. Just to show you how big this is. So let's go ahead and take a look at the blade on the Victorinox Cadet. Or Classic, I apologize, this is not the Cadet. Compared to the Dragonfly. It is a completely different ball game here. And to be honest, you're carrying these for different reasons. You're carrying this because you need a knife. You're carrying this because you need a tool. Um, specifically, multi-tool. Um, a, a knife is most certainly a tool as well. But it's just, this has more functionality than a, a, a normal knife does. So here we have the, I'll try to open this a little quietly. This is the Kershaw Launch 4, which is uh, a little bit closer size wise maybe length overall um blade length is a little bit closer as well however usefulness and blade length are just completely different on most knives versus this and um a couple more here just for fun first up the zt 0450 cf which looks huge next to this little thing and m the other multi-tool that i use the most is my leatherman skeletal tool um this is has actually about the same plain edge cutting length, which is interesting because it has the same usable edge amount. <laughs> no, but um, these are very, very different, and yet they kind of serve the same purpose. They're a multi-tool. They have the knife blade on them, certainly if you need to get into something, but they have other things with them too. And that is what makes this amazing. The knife on this is not that great. We'll get to that. But overall, this thing is just incredible. It's going to get into what I like about it. So, very first thing is the size and weight. It is super small. Like, this thing is very, very tiny. And it's extremely thin, extremely light. It's it's super compact, very easy to carry. I actually carry this in my watch pocket. If you don't know what that is, that's the little pocket inside of your pocket on the right um, leg of your jeans. It's the tiny one. You might put, like, change or something in there. I don't know what people put in there. This goes in there on mine. It's fantastic. I do not notice it is there unless I need it. It is thin enough for me to get around and get to my phone or my wallet or whatever else is in there for that day. And it's, you can barely feel it. It's super, super light. This thing weighs like 0.8 ounces or something like that. And you just don't notice it's there until you go to reach for something and you have this. And it has so much functionality in such a small, compact, and lightweight package. The tool selection on this thing is fantastic as well. So just a quick overview, you do get tweezers, um, which is probably what I use the most on this thing. They're, they're incredible tweezers for the size. You get a toothpick, which I don't use. Um, you get a flathead driver slash very thin pry bar maybe uh, with a file on it, which is very useful as well. You get a knife blade, which is okay, and a pinch. Um, I generally have a larger knife with me, so I don't use it all that much. And then you have these scissors. These are incredible scissors. I've had like knockoff um, Victorinox multi-tools when I was like a child because um, my parents were irresponsible, but they sucked and these are fantastic. These actually work. These cut stuff and that's just mind-blowing to me. I, I assumed all multi-tool pliers were absolute garbage and they're not. They, these actually work. Like here, I'll show you. This I just cut this sometimes. They cut. Granted, that's like some fairly thick paper for tiny scissors to be doing, but they cut. They cut well. They cut every time, and it's just, it's in, it's incredible. It That blew me away. The price on this is pretty good. It's between $10 and $16-ish if you get a plain one. They actually have a massive variety of colors. They have green, blue, red, yellow, gray, pink, any orange, anything you can think of. They also offer a ton of translucent finishes. They also have special editions. They have metal versions of various kinds of metal. You can get one in sterling silver if you want it. 
you know, if you if you just have that money, the options for this are amazing. If you like the overall silhouette of this, you can get it in a finish that you'll like. It's it's incredible. Um, this is just a the basic one. This is a standard. Um, this is like a forest green, I think it is, with a little Victorinox metal inlay. So that is an inlay that will not scrape off. It's nice. Very minimal. Um, I didn't have that much in green, so if I got to pick this up in green, and it's it's just great. I, I love it. Um, it's super versatile. There's just so many different ways you can use this tool. I find myself constantly using the scissors and the file. Um, every now and then, I'll need the flathead driver, and the tweezers are in use almost constantly. There's always something because of how small these are. Um, like just today, I had. We have a dog. One of his hairs got stuck in the speaker grill on my Nintendo Switch, and I couldn't get to it because the speaker grills are super tiny. But I was able to get this, fitted it there, and plucked the hair out. Super, super simple. And to know that I have these is just such a great peace of mind. In fact, I've gotten to the point where I can just feel it in my pocket and just grab the tweezers because I generally have it sitting like this. I can feel, oh, you know, the emblems on this side, so I can just pull up and grab my tweezers and tweeze whatever I need and put it back. They're, they're great. The versatility of this thing is amazing. There's very little that you can't do with this. And in those cases, I have the Leatherman Skeletal, you know, for if I need pliers or larger driver or bigger knife blade. I don't really have a knife for that, but this thing's great. There's so much, so much use packed into such a small, small little thing. And it's built very, very well. There's no, you know inconsistencies everything lines up pretty well um, I haven't noticed any real sharp edges if I really dig my finger in there I can kind of feel them now but I haven't noticed them up till then I've been carrying this thing for weeks uh, actually probably maybe a couple months now it's that's the best thing when I because I'm I'm very picky I try to hunt down these things and generally I can find them fairly easily just by using it for a while I haven't noticed anything with this the only thing that I kind of wish is that the blade we're locking, but that's not really a, a fit and finish thing. It's 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 built very well. I don't see any issues with it. I've it's, there's a ton of micro scratches which you probably can't see, but that's it. This thing's it's it's very durable. You're not gonna break it or anything like that, which is you know it, partially because of the size as well. But it's just fantastic, well built. Speaking of kind of the versatility of this. This is not the only model Victorinox has. They have a ton, dozens, I believe, of different models. If you like the size of this one, but you want different tools, they offer that. If you want a bigger one with even more tools, they offer that. They offer ones with flashlight. They offer one with flash drives, which is just mind-blowing to me. They offer one that's literally like a foot and a half long or something stupid like that that has just an absurd amount of tools. It's hundreds of dollars, maybe a little more but they have it. They have probably something for your use case, unless you need a plier-based multi-tool, in which I don't, I haven't really tried any of their plier-based ones, so I'm not sure, but they have something for almost everyone, and I, I don't understand how they do it, but they do it, and they still have them in a ton of finishes. The usefulness of this thing is really what keeps me coming back to it. It's it's extremely, extremely small, it's lightweight, and I can get almost everything done that I need to do with it. If there's something a bit you know larger that I need to tackle, I grab my skeletal or I grab a regular knife. But for most stuff, this gets me through the day just fine. It's fantastic for light use. Um, you can keep it on your keychain if you want to. I, I don't for a very specific reason, but we'll get it later. But it's, it's just great. It's a wonderful, wonderful little multi-tool. Onto the neutral. There's only there's only one thing here, and that's the blade. Um, I wish the blade were a little wider. I don't really mind the length too much. I wish they were kind of a, a choil or something here I could kind of grip on, because there's very little keeping this from closing on your hand. Uh, the lock is not very strong, but generally when I'm holding it, I'll kind of do something like this. That way, if the blade does, for whatever reason, you know, collapse in on itself, it doesn't take my finger, you know, and cut it. I, I doubt this would cut through anything, but you know. Blade stock isn't bad, but the, the usefulness of the knife just really isn't there for me. For bare minimum stuff, sure. But if you're going to cut through plastic or something, this is terrible at that. Cardboard, trash. Tape, yeah. Paper, sure. 
Um, primarily for me, it's been used for tape. Most of the times when I'm cutting paper, I'm going to end up using the scissors just because they work extremely well. But the blade's there if you need it. It's not a great blade, but it, it could most certainly be worse as well. On to the dislike. Two things. This key ring. Now you're probably thinking, hey, Jake, why are you bashing on the key ring, man? It's, it's, it's a key ring. It's there. It's useful, right? Use it. Put it on your keys. No, this thing is trash. Because do you know what happens when you have this key ring? Say I have this attached to my keys right here, and I'm like, okay, let me get out this knife blade. What's that? Oh, it's attached to my keys, so I have to cut with my entire keys. That's stupid. And God forbid you try to unscrew anything with this while your keys are attached. That's a... No, you don't do that. You don't put the key ring there. I just... I don't understand what they don't understand about this <laughs> it's just a terrible idea if anything flip around to the scissor side because at least when i have you know if i have my keys here i can probably kind of grip my keys in my hand while i'm i was about to say scissoring that's not what i meant <laughs> when i'm cutting stuff um the keyring placement is trash the keyring itself is okay um it will be coming off after this review though so it's just ugh. i wish they kind of had done that only other thing is that it's pinned construction. You can't take it apart, which, you know, for something that would cost a lot of money, if there was a zero added to this, that'd make me furious, but it's, it's, it's not great, but it's, it's bad, but it, it could be so much worse. This is cheap. It's not going to last you a lifetime. You'll buy another one if you really need it. So the pen construction doesn't bother me all that much. On to the conclusion. So, in conclusion, this thing's fantastic. Actually, um, when I opened this up, my wife kind of looked at it and she was like, what is that? And I told her, and she's like, I, I might take that from you when this review is over. So, I was about to um, film this review the other day. I, I was at least putting some thought into it. And I was like, hey, um, if you still want this, sure, but I'm going to buy me another one because I have to have this now. It stays with me. And for something to become part of my EDC with all the stuff I review, it says something. This, this is good. It's great. I, I love it. There's certainly some gripes I have with it, but overall, it's an extremely useful tool, and it's finding my its way into my pocket every single day. And I'm, I'm going on vacation in a few hours. It's coming with me because I guarantee you I'm going to have use for it down there. It's just, e even yesterday, I had a loose string on my shirt. Boom, scissors, right? Right here. They're small. They're compact. Snip it off. Go about your day. It's 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 great. This thing is just amazing. If you think you have any use for this at all, go buy it. It's it's just, it's wonderful. Victorinox is a decent brand. They don't have any big demerits against them or anything. If you haven't checked out any of their stuff, you know, might as well. And this is a great little entry level. This is their classic version, and it's, it's just, it's amazing. This is probably one of my favorite things I've reviewed on this whole channel. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. And FYI, you when you subscribe to a YouTube channel as of late, you don't get notifications for new videos. So if, for whatever reason you want to keep up to date with all the videos I'm doing, there's a little bell icon looking thing next to the subscribe button. Click that. That'll notify you when you when my videos are put out. That way you're like, oh, you know, I found this video six days after it came out. Well, if you take that bell icon, you'd have it today. But thanks for watching. If you guys want me to check out anything else in Victorinox's line or any of these other small kind of multi-tools, let me know. I personally would not be against at all buying more Victorinox stuff. This is very, very much an impressment. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to check out all my other stuff, and have a great day. Bye.